In one of America's most haunted towns, all roads lead to McPike Mansion. At the time that I bought the house, I did not know that the house was haunted. Uh, the house had such a negative reputation that one guy said that it should be burnt down and sprinkled with holy water. A local news crew had a terrifying experience at the mansion last Halloween. 11 News at 9's Patrick Clark introduces us to some real life Ghostbusters. We were looking for a story for Halloween something different, you know, about haunted houses. Somebody had mentioned the McPike Mansion. This is the place that is filled with entities. Look at what the paranormal detectives say was a ghost behind us. Skeptical? We were too. After all, it looks like dust. Dust just doesn't do that. Dust is very flat. These are completely spherical and round. We thought, yeah, sure, whatever. It'll make a good story. So we headed into the house. Uh, one of the things they said was, uh, you'll notice as we head in, it'll suck the juice out of your battery. There's, a, you know, they, they drain energy from whatever you use. We head in the door and probably not even five minutes into our shoot, uh, Teresa's battery went dead. Normally I would get two hours of shooting on a camera battery, and these fell after 20 minutes, I would say, or less. To me, it seemed like it was something that was here that made the batteries fall. Nothing really happened for me that really made me believe until we got to the basement. I was, I was standing in a doorway, and we're almost ready to leave, and I was disappointed because nothing had happened. And just as we're about to leave, I get a chill up my back. And we're like, ugh. And it was still with me. Like, I took at least one or two steps, and it was still with me. It was one of those chills that, you know, you, you kind of shake it off, and it goes away. But it didn't go away. Uh, like, in my back, or, like, in, I don't know how to describe it. It's just weird. It's, uh, it's not a normal cold. Of all the different haunted stories or, you know, kind of spooky stories we've ever done, this is one that I had an experience that, that really kind of shook me. In the basement of the McPike Mansion, we were tracking an entity that we believe likes to pick up the dust. It's very foggy. It swirls. You just, you generally don't run into fog in basements of homes. It just doesn't happen. What he saw was something called a dusty plasma. But in a dusty plasma, it has to pick up the debris in order for it to be seen. We're talking about something that's very, very large and it's actually alive and moving. That cellar really gave me an eerie feeling. It was a very cold feeling. Frankly, I'd rather not have that chill again. Yeah. Patrick Clark reluctantly agreed to go back inside McPike Mansion with the paranormal investigators. Yeah, let's, let's go, go. do this. You want to face your fear. You want to be able to go and see if there really was something there, or was it all in your mind? I guess we'll find out. You know, this is a perfect set for a haunted house. It sure is. I wonder what this house was, you know? <laughs> you want me to lead the way, I guess? Yeah, just go on and lead the way. Yeah, sure. You go on down first. We'll follow. Oh, wow, it's cold. Yeah, wow. That's really cold. Ah, uh, this is like a Freddy Krueger basement. Wow, it's cold. Oh, God. <laughs> Dang it. A little nervous, huh, Patrick? Yeah. It feels colder, almost like 10 degrees colder right in this area here. I don't know if that makes sense. Maybe I'm letting my imagination run wild. What do you guys see? There's a couple of orbs that have been around Patrick, so uh, I'm not sure, but I think they like you. Can you make sure they don't follow me home? <laughs> no, we, uh, we, we don't guarantee that. What was that? I'm not insane. Everybody heard that noise. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, we heard that. Yeah, we heard it. Sound like something fell down the stairs. Yeah, I think we should probably go up at least to the next floor and see what's going on there. I cannot go in that room without getting sick. We call it the sad room. It's creepy. Hello? Hello? Hey, you smell that? There it is. What do you smell? You smell lilacs. You smell it right now. You're getting major goosebumps. What was the name of the woman, Sharon, who you... Sarah, who you said she wore, like, perfumes or things like that? She's trying to contact one of us. If you can smell her, she's trying to contact she's you. She's trying to talk to you. That's... Is that you, Sarah? If you have something to say to us, your microphone is open. You just had an entity pass right in front of you, went right through the doorway. Oh my god. It's all right with you guys. I think we've seen enough tonight. But the ghosts of McPike Mansion weren't finished with the crew. This is the classic anatomy of a haunting. I don't want to go back in. This was the first time, actually. Uh, it threw something at us that uh, we weren't really expecting. Yeah, tonight was a little different than what we normally we normally get here. Our preliminary crew. Whoa! Oh, oh my god. god. What, what just happened? Just right now, just a second ago, the uh, power line across the street uh, it snapped. ignited, it snapped and ignited and burnt through both uh, power poles. One power pole is down right there. The power lines are down. That was weird. Yeah, that was weird. I declare this, uh, this property pretty well haunted. Through the investigations that we've had here in Alton, we've noticed that a lot of the buildings seem to be built around the same time. Even the limestone brick seems to be the same. The only one that we really have a problem with is, is the Civil War prison. It was built much, much earlier. It doesn't fit the puzzle right now. We don't know quite where to put that into the equation. Historian Sonny Irwin uncovered a common link between the haunted sites. About 1865, the latter part of 1865, the prison was actually closed. Many of the, the walls were taken apart. Uh, some of the stones were used throughout the city of Alton. They were moved all around Alton. They were used for foundations. They were used for walls. The only conclusion we can make at this time is that the, the horrible um, death and disease that happened at the uh, Civil War prison may have embedded itself into those limestone bricks. That emotional content has been recorded by the stone and still could be affecting the buildings that sit on top of it. That may very well be the common link for the hauntings. Coming up next, the Eaton family's night of terror draws near. Will the family survive a night at Magnolia Lane Plantation? I want to go home. Ah!